In this video, we're gonna talk about Hell hath a new ruler, which is Nick. She's the new ruler of Hell. So what happens now? Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of Spawn, issue number 351, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So previously in Spawn, months ago, Nyx claimed the throne of Hell. The war came to an end and everything on earth changed. So two months ago, one of the 37 homes owned by billionaire Matthew Ramos, AKA Blood, King of Vampires, gets interrupted by his servant. And he obviously he's kind of in the middle of something. I mean, literally he's in the middle of something, a whole lot of things too. So this server tells him there's been development concerning the dead zone, sir. We're assessing, but it appears as if somehow expanded across the entire planet. So now every agent of heaven and hell on earth are now powerless and blood's like all right that is worth interrupting my jiggy session you know what i mean so blood gets on his robe he's like when did this happen well it happened a few hours ago and now that blood is thinking they're going to continue to self-inflict their own wounds are they confirmed mortal now they're no longer immortal so one of his servants like yo sir we should tread carefully like if you rush in too much now and this phase is only temporarily man that's going to really diminish our numbers and the other servants like well i disagree it's a reason to strike now we have the numbers and we know the names and locations of those agents so we got to end this tonight let's do this thing if we delay they can regroup and escape and blood's like okay how quickly can we mobilize a group two hours at most and the other servants like yo sir listen to me don't be going in like that and blood's like nah we waited long enough it's time to seize control of the dead zone portals first make sure none of them can escape and that's blood's original plan so now, two months later, everyday people pass this doorway not knowing its significance. The bar has had many names over the years. But for now, those in the know, it's always been called Purgatory. For centuries, the watering hole has been one of the few truly neutral points between heaven and hell. A place both sides could come and trade information and cut deals. Most of its patrons are dead anyway, because two months ago, the world has changed. Still referencing the events of Spawn issue number 350 when Nyx took the throne, and the war that's been running on Earth for thousands of years ended with both sides on the losing end. Regardless of who they are, heaven and hell, they got no powers, but the vampires, they seem to be running this thing. And Spawn comes in like, nah, uh where's Caliban? I'm looking for Caliban. And these bros are like, nah, uh Spawn, you can't just be coming up in here unannounced, not after what you did. And Spawn's like, yo, bro, just because I ain't got no powers now, don't be trying me like I'm some kind of sample, all right? So he gets him back, and this guy is like, all right, everyone easy, all right? We're all friends here. Isn't that right, Spawn? You can just imagine the dialogue is like very sinister and eerie at this point. So this guy tells Spawn to take a seat and I gotta be honest this is a bit of a disappointment I placed a pretty big bet that you were dead but anyway how can I help you what can I do for you and spawns like vampirism is there a way to cure it I don't think so and what are you thinking of doing you thinking of curing it so you can take a shot at blood my leader <laughs> and he just adds more insult and more saltiness to it telling spawn I thought you'd be his biggest fan after what he did to heaven and hell's guys for you this isn't about blood says spawn funny I almost believe you, but indulge me for a second. Assuming that there is a way to cure vampirism, assuming that I knew it, why would I put myself on that crap list just to give that to you? Especially pissing off the most powerful vampire on earth. And Spawn's like, if blood tries to cause any trouble, I'll protect you. <laughs> this guy's like, nah, bruh, maybe before, but now I'm not so sure. He won't be in power forever, says Spawn. Yeah, people keep saying that. Even if the zones magically flip back, Things aren't gonna go back to the way they were. Look around. Sin, clown, the big beasts are gone, and it's only us cockroaches around here. So Spawn points the finger like, all right, bro, let me get something straight. So if you're fine with blood in charge, we got an arrangement, so maybe yeah. So Spawn reminds him, your arrangement doesn't account for the fact that you've been sheltering demons, sent them with black mages to alter their appearances? I don't know about all that, bro. So this guy's like, look, I know all this must be hard for you, A, but this is a new world order. I mean, look, I'm a realist. And when it comes to actual physical power, I was never endowed with much of it. On a good day, I'm a 3 out of 10. But the point is, for you dropping in, you all of a sudden went down from 10 power to 1 power, and that's a big deal. But for me, I could be a 1 all day, and it's all good with me. So he asked Spawn, what's it like being down here in the mud with the rest of us, huh? Being down to power level 1. So, I don't think I'll keep my mojo with blood because you can't do nothing for me anyway. And that is a cold analogy that that brother gave to Spawn. And then he adds more saltiness to it. Because I don't think God or Satan will be able to rebuild 
fast enough. Actually, while I have you here, is it true what they say about you and Nick Spawn? That you put her on the throne and this is how she paid you back? Yo, that is a soft spot and a low blow and Spawn's like, nah, bro, you tried me too many times. This ain't no Saturday morning Costco sample. Quit trying me like that. Oh, and Caliban's like, all right, Spawn, this has been fun, but I think it's time that you left. The throne is still a sore spot for Spawn. In the days after the war ended, many waited to see what Nyx or Green World's next move would be. Months later, they're still waiting, and it's just too eerie why it's so damn silent like that. No one knows nothing. What do they have going on, or what are they doing right now? We don't know. So hundreds of miles away, after seizing control of the dead zone portals, blood had them guarded 24 hours a day. No one on Earth can escape though some may try and this guy named elijah is telling his fellow people and he, i think these are fallen angels like hey you know what we got a plan go through that hallway right there inside a room the center of the building i paid a guard to have the dead zone unlock go right through it and trust me on it everyone and this girl is like i'm not going through elijah and i think that's a pretty clever really cool callback to elijah in the bible i believe that that's in the second book of kings where elijah the prophet and Elisha, the other prophet, he bestowed to Elisha, the other prophet, of all the powers and prophecies. And I'm not sure what the term is, but all the prophecies that he can do. And Elijah was taken up into heaven by a fire chariot without even going through death. But I think this is a really cool callback right here. That's just what I got the vibes of right over here. But now going back and forth, I think it's too risky to go through that portal. But they go through it anyway because, as you can tell, Elisha has this very sinister, dark face. And you can tell he's got something up his sleeve. So he wants to go through that portal. Even though these were falling angels at the beginning, before the dead zones went down, they need to go through that dead zone because this group isn't trying to flee out of fear. It's from knowing the facts. All the Hellspawn symbiotes lost their powers but remained bonded to their hosts, while most demons hide in the shadows, now unable to change appearances. But that's nothing compared to what the angels have endured. Without their powers, they lack the strength to hold up the wings on their backs. Wings which have been rotting down to stumps, their crippling pain leading them to despair praying for a way to escape earth and as they walk into this room they walked into a trap a brutal and bloody death trap so now this mysterious figure is like well done elijah and elijah's like i did what you asked me to do now release my family no not yet you owe me more than this boy and elijah's like man what the heck did i get myself into so in this panel right here we got two vampires looking for spawn they're tracking him down and they tracked him down based on his interrogation with Caliban from before in that bar. So they go down thinking that, oh, we're going to track Spawn down. We're going to ambush and this is all it. But they wonder where the heck is he, but Spawn is up there. And Spawn's like, ha, 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 I caught y'all slipping. Now see my sword and see these hands. So the past few months, with all the shadow players having to cope with being mortal, some have come to believe a false narrative. They believe they are all equal now, that Spawn is their equal, but they're all wrong, dead wrong. The thing is, Al Simmons was trained to kill people long before becoming Spawn because he was a trained CIA assassin. And he wasn't trying to hide from these vampires, he was waiting for them. His visit to the Purgatory Bar was to make sure he was seen by some of Blood's soldiers. He's already trapped a few vampires, but those have all been feral, mindless beasts. And that's referencing King Spawn issue number 31 and issue number 32 coming up, which that is true. It did talk about that in King Spawn issue number 31. But what Spawn needs now is the one with more intelligence. And he impels that brother and interrogates him. How do I cure vampirism? But keep in mind, these guys called for backup earlier, Alec. But they went in too fast, but Alec came in and it appears like he's hungry and he wants the business and he's angry and so is Al Simmons Spawn. Spawn gets decked and gets to work because this guy comes in with that smoke and with that heat baby and Alec is pissed. Alec is telling Spawn why haven't you learned any of this? Haven't any of you learned by now? This is our world now. You should have stayed in the shadow Simmons. This is our time and there's nothing you or heaven can do to stop it and this creature kicks Alec from behind releasing Spawn from his grasp and she's like is that right? There's nothing we can do huh? Well then I'm afraid I got some bad news for you and I don't know who this this chick is but I am definitely interested and I'm definitely in and she looks like she means business and she's ready for that smoke no idea who she is if you guys know comment below let me know if we do not know then this is perhaps and probably a key issue worth adding to your comic book collection and that is the end of spawn issue number 351 
what you guys think of the comic book comment below let me know also link in description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other limited print rated comic exclusives to add to your comic book collection support the art support the industry lastly this video is sponsored by coffee so if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee link in description or donate to the super thanks but the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to this channel thank you again for watching until next time